why is this happening? I'm so upset right now. Why? The good news is I am back with another food taste testing video. The bad news is I have a really weird mullet situation. You guys really enjoyed watching me eat everything on the Taco Bell dollar menu. So I thought this was the perfect time to venture into the land of McDonald's. I'm already gassy already, it's a bad start. Thankfully, we are no longer in the land of the Taco Bell that we were at last time because, you know, there were like $5 thieves running amok in the parking lot. Two people are fighting over $5. I've already seen someone hug someone else. I think we're in a much happier place. I am going to try everything on McDonald's dollar menu. Now you may know that McDonald's has a dollar menu, a $2 menu, and a $3 menu. I'm going to try every item on all three of those dollar menus. Luckily, I came hungry and I came clean. I cleaned my car since the Taco Bell video. No! Although there is a random ketchup laying in here, but you know what? It's from McDonald's. It's a good omen. Here we go. I actually want everything on all the dollar menus. Yeah, one second. I think she's having an awesome manager. We really don't have anything for a dollar flat. Oh. Like, you can do the six piece for $1, and then the mix you can do the double for $3. Oh, you don't have any food on the $1 menu anymore? No, not really. Okay. I'll do everything. So I'll do medium sweet tea, a medium Coke, McNugget six piece, some iced coffee, a McCafe, the McChicken, and the McDouble. I'll also do a Happy Meal cheeseburger. This is a very sad time. All right, everyone, update time. No, you're not confused. You're not on Alicia Marie's channel. Apparently, the dollar menu is no more at McDonald's. I can't believe I didn't know this about my dear friend McDonald. Thank you for someone who isn't happy. Not only did McDonald's get rid of most of their dollar menu items, but I am back at the Taco Bell parking lot. After close examination, I realized that everything on the dollar menu is basically beverage centric. And I don't know how I'm going to move on in this video and create content for you, but alas, I made it all the way here, I am hungry, and I have to write this $7 off on my taxes. That's where we are today. So I'm gonna eat everything that's on the dollar menu, even if it's a bunch of beverages. Hi, okay, I just wanted to step in here and let you know that I'm so grateful that Cleo is sponsoring this video. So excited about them because I financially am taking charge of my life for the first time in my life. Clio is like a free, friendly finance app and it helps you manage your money better. So for instance, Clio can tell you when you're spending too much money on Starbucks, on Uber rides, or eating too much fast food, which is clearly a problem that I have. The true story, Matt and I budgeted for the very first time ever about two weeks ago, which is insane that we've been married for six years and that's just happening. And we actually needed a financial tool that would help us take the budget that we made and actually put it into motion. And that's where Cleo comes in. Cleo works like a, a chat window that you can pop up and communicate to and she will communicate back to you in a very sassy way. I asked Cleo how much money I spent on fast food and it is in the thousands of dollars. I spend hundreds of dollars a month on fast food, which fast food is already pretty cheap. So that's how you know you have a problem. But here's where it gets kind of funny. You can either choose to have her talk to you in a roast mode or in a hype mode. So hype mode makes you feel really good about your finances and how things are going for you in a roast mode puts you in check. She communicates in these hilarious gifs and gifs or whatever you call them, which makes your last $70 in the bank account not feel so small. I have a new user offer for you for $5 that will go straight into your bank account. If you sign up for Clio from my link below and then refer a friend to do so as well, you and your friend are gonna receive $5 for free. And that goes for anyone who downloads the app and connects their account within the next seven days of this video. So if you want $5 on me, go check out Clio, you will LOL. I know we had a big misstep here today where the dollar menu at McDonald's was very slim to 
basically none. McDonald's, just get rid of it. You know what I mean? Having one sandwich and a drink on there doesn't really qualify it to continue to be a dollar menu. So instead of this being, I'm trying everything on the McDonald's menu, which I actually am going to try. I decided I would maybe make this more of a mukbang style video. Without further ado, you're entering into a mukbang zone. Usually I ask people to submit questions for things like this. So I just thought I'd tell you a couple of things about me that you may not know. If you're brand new here, subscribe. I do food videos. Well, first thing I love McDonald's. Well, things are really hard when you're by yourself because when do you chew? One thing that you may not know about me, I had a high school sweetheart. I don't, I kind of make a rule that I don't really like talk about exes, but I dated my high school sweetheart when I was like 14 to when I was, I guess, like 22 years old. I was in like a long-term relationship. I just feel like some like adult relationships don't last that long. One thing that people always seem surprised by is the fact that I'm pretty tall in person. I'm almost 5'8". A lot of people expect me to be shorter for some reason. And I also have a really big foot. I wear a size 10 shoe. I'm basically like a monster. I have really long arms, long legs. And so in high school, it was almost impossible for me to wear shorts because I'd always get in trouble because my arms were like down to my knees. I could never find shorts long enough to wear. When I was in high school, I actually started my own company. I was a voice teacher and I would teach students at my house. You know, every single month I had like 10, Crap, I just got my car clean. No! I had like 10 to 12 students. It was so fun for me. I really loved teaching voice. Also, I was a singer. A lot of you know that. I toured with a all-girls Christian ensemble. You, we used to wear satin pants and chiffon sleeves and then travel around North Carolina, South Carolina in churches. I was kind of like one of the soloists. I was like one of the main singers in the group. But when I was in elementary school, I tried out for the choir and I was the only person out of my entire class, out of all of my friends who auditioned, who did not make the choir. My dad was so mad that he went to the teacher and was like, you better put her in the choir. And he was like, you know what? Honestly, she's just not good enough. And so I proceeded to then go do theater and get cast as like the lead in The Secret Garden, which is like a musical, and sang my butt off. I know that I need someone here is lost or mad. I have someone here. My teacher had to come and like apologize for him not seeing my true talent. It was like a good Michael Jordan moment in my life where it was just like, oh, you don't think I can do it? Well, watch me. If there's a lesson in that for any of you, it is never listen to the haters, even the people who are in control of your destiny, even the people who are the gatekeepers, the people who you think, if they don't approve of you, then you'll never be anything in your life. Trust me, somehow, I really believe that God finds a way to put you right where you're supposed to be, right when you're supposed to be there. Crap, again? Did I eat that entire cheeseburger? Wow. I'm gonna dive into the McChicken. I've not had a McChicken maybe ever. Usually my chicken sandwiches I reserved for Burger King. McDonald's, I'm so sorry. Mmm. Mmm. Looks like that's on a McFish because I hate fish. By the way, this sandwich is very okay. Like a fried chicken sandwich has to be gourmet for me. A chicken sandwich has to be homemade, grandma style, crispy, buttermilk, extra homemade branch, and some nice coleslaw on top. This is not gonna cut it for me, I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, by the way. Okay, the McDouble and the McChicken were both on the two for three dollar menu. This looks so good, everybody. I just, looking at this brings me back to so many times in my life. After football games and hanging out with my friends and like doing my homework at McDonald's. I did my homework at McDonald's. Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments. By the way, I'm enjoying one of the dollar menu Cokes. That's like one of the only things you can get on the menu. I actually competed in Miss North Carolina. I also competed in Miss California. I was third runner up at Miss North, Miss North Carolina as I eat a McDonald's cheeseburger with my food in my mouth. I was also top 15 at Miss California. I only did them because I had had too many McDonald's cheeseburgers and I wanted to work on myself. I do love McDonald's coffee. Sometimes in a pinch when Starbucks is like overcrowded because everybody and their mom is in line, I just sneak over to McDonald's. 
All right, you guys. I literally have tried every single thing off of the dollar menu, which is not really saying very much, obviously. Pretty full. And I definitely have to go to the bathroom. I've had so many liquids. But thank you all for being on this very random food journey that I just was not expecting. I love doing food videos, but nothing disappoints me more than when I show up to eat something that I'm excited about to then hear they're sold out, they don't sell it anymore. If you made it this far, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell for notifications when I upload videos. And also go follow me on Instagram, you guys. Comment in the comments where I should go next and what I should eat next. And if there are other dollar menus that actually still exist. This was very odd. Also, click one of these boxes right here because there's another food video. This moment deserves lash removal. The day is over, the video's over. I'll see you next time. <laughs>